Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Vaka Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, for a patron cast, it's going to be Mac Winston versus uh, Testa Quadra here on Moondance. Bottom right, going to be Mac Winston saying half on etc. And at the top left, we've got ourselves Testa Quadra. I have no idea uh, what that means, but uh, Quadra is probably four ish something, and the uh, number four, and. Uh, Testa. Hmm. Let's see if. Let's see if Google knows what this is. Testa. Quad. Rough. Testa Quadra. Hmm. Translates into something here. Testa Quadra means bullhead. Oh, or a blackhead. Oh, so it's like acne? <laughs> what the heck, man? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I trust this at all. Uh, somebody who speaks Spanish can probably translate it for me better than the Googles can in a quick Google search that I'm probably doing wrong because I'm casting. All right, so sus when a turn walls off flat early. What kind of fromage is this? Cheese, right? So double gas opening, one base. Battle cruiser rush at this level? I don't know. Stalkers do pretty well against battle cruisers, and hmm. So double gas opening here. I go for air. Says Testa Quadra. Okay. <laughs> Mac Winston's like, dude. He answered my question. Um. Okay. Weird stuff. I'm not gonna expand. Definitely getting my cyber core down. One base Protoss versus one base Terran is a lot more likely to survive than a two-basing Protoss in that situation. So, again, this is a patron cast. Mac Winston supports me at patreon.com slash falconpaladin for 10 bucks a month, which gives him the right to send me any replay once a month, and I'll cast it on the main channel, and he's expanding. Huh. All right, man. So, factory's coming up here from Testa Quadra. No Reapers this game. Scouting with an Adept is advisable, especially in this position. But... All right, so hardwalling, the Adept cannot get through here. But the Shade is invulnerable, so you can get up here, kind of take a peek around, and then get back down, and no skin off of your nose. Robotics facility. For observers, again, good scouting option here. We've got Command Center being upgraded to an orbital command. Do, 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 do. So I'm curious. Honestly, I'd make Stalkers here. Like, there's very little the Terran can do here that Stalkers are not going to be good against. I mean, even like a Mass Marine style kind of an attack here would be pretty bad against Mass Stalker. I mean, Marauders, I guess, would be a problem here. Like, some kind of uh, big Marauder push against Stalkers would be problematic. But yeah, he's not lying. He's getting a Starport. He's getting a Cyclone out first because that deals with incoming things like Warp Prisms. And oracles and stuff that can ruin your day. So having a cyclone is just an insurance agreement. That allows you to stay alive against a lot of stuff your enemy can do to you. So, second command center being built inside the main base. For Testa Quadra, so he's late on the expansion, but not crazy late. Banshee, maybe? I just, I don't know. Is that? No way. No way. He's doing a battle cruiser opening against Protoss. Once again, I'd like to point out, Stalkers do bonus damage versus armored and are very good anti-air against battle cruisers. They're very good anti-air against everything, honestly. No reason for it. Stalker anti-air done. And really not bad against ground either. Stalker, I don't know, is it the best unit that Protoss has? Oh, we sent the Cyclone across the map? What the heck? Testa Quadra. I thought he was going to keep that at home. He walked it all the way across the map and killed a stalker with it. Look at this. Oh, broke the lock. Nice. You got to be careful about breaking that lock, though. The cooldown on that is so short. Crazy how short it is, man. He's like, okay. What you got? We got a shield battery, but you're going to drain. Oh, he locked. Uh, broke it again. This is the problem with the lower level games is just little stuff like that. Little micro tricks that lower players are not used to. Okay, man. So it is a battle cruiser. Got a widow mine here. So battle cruiser widow mine against Protoss. We've seen it against Zerg a lot recently. An immortal, two stalkers, two zealots. I don't know, man. This battle cruiser shows up. Mac Winston's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Send 
Send in the observer. Where did the observer go? The observer went the other way for a minute. It was sitting here. Meanwhile, again, Cyclone Harass here doesn't get any kills, just being super annoying. There it is. Ob's going in and is going to see. Okay. So he does have a starport. He wasn't lying about that. Huh. Well, all right. He's going to see a battlecruiser pop out of this. He's going to fall out of his chair. Like, what the heck? Nobody does this to me. No one does this to anybody. This is not a viable build. Testa Quadra. But I don't know. He's got two bases. He's got a bunch of Marines out. Look, I just I would like to see Mac Winston. So here's his camera. I want to see if he sees the battle cruiser when it pops. He's looking. He's look. Oh, he sees it. Immediately, more stalkers go. Oh my gosh, I need more. I need more warp gates. Hurry. These guys are on cooldown. I guess it's a good number of warp gates for two bases. And then this poor guy, this poor battle cruiser, he's just being sent across the map blind. He doesn't know what's over here. He knows there's a couple stalkers and stuff, but look at him. Just la 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 la. Walking across the map. He's gonna die. Like, there's just no way this battle cruiser. I guess he could jump out. Right? He's got his jump available because he walked across the map. He's just sitting here on the very edge of the base, picking away at buildings. Like, well, Protoss traditionally will build their buildings on the edge of the map so Reapers can't hop up easily. So I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to depower one of your warp gates. I'm going to kill a probe. Where the heck is Mac Winston? Oh, he just lost a stalker to a Winnow Mine. Look at him just being like, la, 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 la. I'm just casually burning down pylons. Not supply blocking Mac Winston, though. And then, yeah, one stalker, no biggie. Now, Observer sees there is a Widow Mine here and is like, oh, be careful. Be careful of that Widow Mine. Look at this. Lock on capabilities here. And then the Battle Cruiser getting some hits off. Shield Batteries Killer here. Is he making another one? He is! Yay! Oh, this is crazy. Void Ray! <sighs> really love a good Void Ray against Battle Cruisers. That's another reason we don't see Battle Cruisers against Protoss, is because Void Rays exist. Prismatic Alignment pops on. Bam! Done. Done for you. Widow Mine gets picked off. I mean, anytime you know of a Widow Mine, go kill it. Recommendation right there. Oh, no. Testa Quadra supply blocked. He'd be making more battle cruisers. Oh, supply blocked for just a minute. Uh, he's back up being not supply blocked anymore. Cool, cool, cool. He's not really doing that great on economy either. He's got well, 40 to 41 workers. I mean, both players. What the heck? Is he oversaturated? How does he have... How does he have the same number of workers, but he's not... Oh, now he is. Okay. He must have had some SCVs just kind of sitting around. That was weird for a minute. It was like way undersaturated to the natural, but he had 40 workers. Hmm. Mysteries. The mysteries. Third base here. Observer sees that. Third base warping in for Mac Winston in response. Battle Cruiser. Four kills. Where's there? Were there two? He's got two. Where's the other one? Sitting here defensively, of course. Marines have no upgrades because, you know, all the gas is going directly towards these battle cruisers. I like the idea of Prismatic eliminating down an entire base. Oh, you're going to lose the Void Ray, though. Okay, cool. That Nope. Attention was elsewhere for Mac. Sometimes that happens. Your screen is elsewhere. At this point, get Yamato. Pro tip for people making battle cruisers. If you're making more than one... Nice snap on the OBS. Get Yamato. Upgrade that Yamato because then you're going to feel good about yourself. Yamatos are great. They don't one-shot Void Rays. But, you know, it brings them down to, like, very, very low HP. So, not a bad thing. Flux Fane's on the way. More and more. Ooh, Tempest. Love the Tempest answer to these. Tempests are good against Battle Cruisers if they can keep their range. The reason Battle Cruisers can be good against Tempest is they jump on top of the Tempest and immediately Yamato a bunch of them. Just close range fire like that. The Tempests are going to have a bad time. They're more about long range, long range capabilities here. And I am curious to see how these are microed, right? Tempest got to keep away. If you get a lot of range on you, you're going to be pretty squishy. Broodlords are squishy. Tempests are pretty squishy for how much they cost. Again, same thing for Broodlords. All right. Well, that tank's probably going to die. Yep. Battlecruisers are trying to avoid taking shots. Oh, no. Everything's chasing these. 
Uh, Tempest. Look how fast the Tempest dies. Blah. Oh, tried to jump. Tried to jump back home. Nope. Jumping into Mac Winston's base. Okay. Shield battery overcharge. Go. No. Kill the, kill the shield battery. Ah. He's going to lose another one. Okay. Well, this is... This is the why, in case you're ever wondering why we don't see battle cruisers from professionals against Protoss. I feel like there are games in the past we've seen it happen, but not so much over the last year or like two years at the Proceed. It's because of that. Because Tempests are good, Stalkers are good, Cannons are good. Like, it's just there's a lot of good, incredible options here. Whereas for like Zergits, well, get some Corruptors, I guess. Can he do anything else? Uh, no. <laughs> Hydras are terrible. Queens are pretty good for a minute, but once it turns into like four to five PCs, queens are bad. But stalkers keep being awesome forever. He's working on air weapons, working on armor for his ground units, loving that stuff. It's 47 to 35 army supply. This planetary is probably dead if the immortal gets some big shots out on it. Yeah, why not? Stalker's good against. Oh, yeah. Just the repair is. Oh, the repair is incoming, though. Oh, that repair is so good. Good reaction time there from Testa Quadra. Someone who speaks Spanish is laughing every time I say that. And it's got maybe it does mean a blackhead, like a pimple. <laughs> I don't know. If you keep firing at this, they're gonna keep repairing it, and that's gonna suck resources out of Testa Quadra's bank, and he's not really responding to it any other way. I guess he has some Vikings now, so never mind. That plan was stupid. Tectonic destabilizers on the way. They've got, you know, ye old. Bonus damage versus ground. Fourth base for Mac Winston coming in. And once again, he really wants this planetary to die. But the repair is too good. It's like, no, I have enough damage. Okay, kill the SCVs, I guess. Gonna lose a couple stalkers in the process. Dude, that repair is so sick. Ah, run. Vikings! Anti-air good against these cap ship stalkers. Kill them first. Ooh, lost a Tempest. Lost a couple Vikings in the process, though. <laughs> and this tank on the high ground is doing some work. It's getting shots. It's protecting, you know, protecting the perimeter of this planetary, so that's good. But yeah, if you want to support me, patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin is a good place for that. You can also do it here on YouTube by clicking the join button down below this video. You can support me for as little as a couple bucks a month here. You'll get a Zergling level as a member. Pretty cool stuff. Get access to a new emojis and like a new little flair on your name. And it's pretty neat stuff if you want to support me here. And if you want to support me on a one-time basis, well, you can use the thanks icon down below for a one-time non-recurring um, non -recurring donation. And also you can use PayPal. So uh, paypal.com. And then falconpaladin at gmail.com is the address you want to send one-time non-recurring donations to. Cool. Anyway, what do we got here? Ye old exp Ooh, ninja expand from Testa Quadra. He's got his, his back base has been taken. Oh, well, battle cruiser jumped in. You know what that means. I love the zealots are here. They're like, attack us instead. Oh, no, he didn't jump in. Oh, he walked in. I did not even see that. I am blind as a bat. Neat. Random Widow Mines out here. Look, this really should not be working for Testa Quadra. But he's kind of turtling up with tanks and planetaries and Vikings and then going out on raids with battle cruisers. Like, it's hard for him to win, but it's hard for Mac to crack this, too. This is pretty turtly stuff. He's finally getting Yamato. He's like, well, I've got, you know, three to five battle cruisers, and two have already, three have already died, so. Getting him auto is not a bad thing. Yeah. So it turns orange on the attack, but it only does bonus to ground buildings. So here we go. Bonus damage. Oh, the repair. Not on time. Planetary dead. And then he storms the heck out of some of the... Yo. Worker count. Test a quadra. Brutal. That's 25 SCVs down. Absolutely disgusting. Gah. Armory in production. Widow mine. Gonna wander into cannons and die. Ready for this? Oh, too smart. Too smart to die to cannons. Very nice. Getting out of there. Beautiful stuff. These battle cruisers. Oh, I don't know if they got spotted by Mac Winston or not. They're coming down again. The slow, slow way. No, he 
He knows. He smelled it. He's like, okay, there's something heading down that way. The battle cruisers. They're not coming my way. They're coming south. So this one of mine's gonna get a connection on these zealots, or maybe I don't know, kill a stalker or something. Yep, zealots absorb the hit. Shield battery heals a couple of them up anyway. And this is where you jump out. Yeah, see again, he goes on these raiding parties. <laughs> Did he blink dodge a Yamato? No way. No, no, no way he blink dodged a Yamato. He might have, actually. If you did, Mac Winston, hats off to you, dude, but this sneaky base is a problem. You must discover Sneaky Ninja. This is a good base, or a good map for ninja bases, rather. He is going sky. Look at this dude. He is telling the truth. And Mac Winston's like, man, he was telling the truth that he was going air. Who does that? It's like, well, Testa Quadra does, apparently. Trying to rebuild this third base on the low ground. Uh, accidentally going to scout this one? He's checking other locations. But again, the point of the ninja is it doesn't make sense to take it. So your enemy might not scout it. Vikings. Oh, get out of there, Tepes. Not your fight, Tepes. Tepes, no. Tempest bad. Oh, you're not even okay. Well, you get one volley down, Tempest. Holy crap! What are the upgrades on these things? Nothing. These are zero zero Vikings, man. That's how good they are against things like Tempests and battle cruisers and carriers and stuff. Wow. I mean, what's he got here? He's only got fifteen of them, so sure. Fair enough. Their range is killer. Gotta love a good Viking. Gotta love a good Viking range attack, that's for sure. He still hasn't scouted this one. Oh no. Oh no, Mac Winston. So, income wise. No. Why is that not working? I have this, yeah. Is that a, oh, is that only a game heart thing? The in, no, the income tab, right? Am I? I don't know, man. I feel like maybe my brain's exploding. All right, cool. So, battle cruisers sneaking around again. Well, Mac Winston's out of position. Shield battery overcharged. Probably not enough in this situation, though. These battle cruisers do have plus one attack and plus one armor now. They're focusing down this nexus. Let's go get them. Excellent. And then he jumps out. This is how you use battle cruisers if you're going to have to use them <laughs> against Protoss. I guess don't engage directly. This, I cannot believe this one has still not been discovered. He's been all over this side of the map. I think he's even checked up here, but he hasn't checked this one. That hurts. He keeps coming back to this third and killing it. This is what he knows. This is what he's comfortable doing here. He had a ghost. He's dead now. Mac might just... Okay, storms would be good at this point in time. There you go. Throwing down a storm there. Another storm here. It's kind of whiffing on that one, I feel like. Ow. That was hurt. That was a lot of high ground tanks, man. Seven kills, four kills, five kills, ten kills. These guys are uh, providing assistance, but not necessarily getting any kills there. So it's 102 to 100 supply here. Testa Quadra is like, we're good. Uh, all of our SCVs are on this refinery for some reason. Like, all of them are on this refinery for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. Ooh, he's got plus two air weapons. Working on plus three now. He kind of... Slow start. Slow start on the upgrades, but really not too bad otherwise. I mean, Mac Winston's got plus three ground weapons, plus two air weapons, and plus one air weapons. So, he's doing really good on upgrades for sure here. Trying to get rid of these tanks that are just ruining his day. 
And then, yeah. Storming. The Vikings is good, but look at him dodging around here. Battle Cruisers fighting. This guy's still alive. Nine kills on him. And Mac Winston has to back it out. This is such a weird game. Stalker. Mass Stalker, I feel like it'd be pretty good in this situation. You can blink. There you go. Blink under the BCs. And he storms the heck out of the Vikings. Very nice. So the Vikings all die. But the Stalkers are all dead. And uh, there's only three Tempests left. There's a handful of Stalkers down here. I don't know. These are really bruised. I would go attack them. Still nothing about this. Still nothing about that. Okay, we're good. Hey, another ghost showed up. All right, Mac. 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 Mm. Pretty big hit. Secondary nuke. Same location. Let's see if Mac Winston realizes what's happening here. Where's his camera? It's over here. It's over here. And there it is. <laughs> I mean, it didn't really do a ton of extra damage with the second nuke, but not bad. This is a lot of bruised up warp gates here. Somebody comes through can knock these over with a feather. Probes did get pulled, though, so that's nice. Not a ton of probes died during that attack, and the ghost just goes back home. Got 12 kills to his name. Not bad. Some cannons died. Some shield batteries died down here. Don't you know. I think Max going to try to expand up here to scout it. Like, other than that, I don't see a reason for him... To give that a shot. He's not having... Oh, he does. Or, there's not an armory. No, there's an armory because he's getting upgrades. Yeah, look, he's getting plus three vehicle weapons. This is so weird. <laughs> uh, I love it, though. This is why I like mid to lower level games. You see stuff that you don't see anywhere else at the pro level, right? Wow. Uh, we've got Cyclones coming in. We've got 333 coming in from Testa Quadra. The mech's upgraded. The air is upgraded. They do share an upgrade, just like Zerg. Just like Protoss. And expanding up here. So, let's see. Let's see if Mac Winston... Keeps going this way. Ah! Cyclones in here going after buildings. Fantastic. So he does scout this one. Yeah, so he's... Okay, all these... This is bad for Testa Quadra. All these SCVs are going to die. Stalkers fighting here. Mass Cyclone. Getting some shots off. Ooh, getting blinked on top of... Losing a couple stalkers in the process, but oh, 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 he did it. He did it. He's like, how long has this been here? So he's going to knock Testa Quadra down to a total of three bases at 22 minutes, which is not good. Also, a ton of SCBs have died. He's at 50 workers now. The battle cruisers they need to get something done. Can they do it is the question of the day. No, they're chased away. Too many plus three stalkers here. He jumps, ooh, to the same side of the map. Because, again, he needs to get something done here, but he's back to do an absolute quarter. Oh, boy. All right. Well, ow, ow, ow. That's a GG. Mac Winston is your winner in 23 minutes and 21 seconds. GG. GG getting that win against a very weird Sky Territy style from Testa Quadra. What do we get? Ten battlecruisers died. Yo, Mac Winston lost more resources today, though. That's 11 Tempests. Okay, that'll do. 69 Stalkers. Nice. It's just the Battle Cruisers did not pay for themselves. He invested way too much into those, obviously. And that's why he lost. I mean, he did kill this base with Battle Cruisers once. That was nice, but never bothered really much of anything else. He'd pick around the edges here and there, but the Stalkers would show up and he'd have a bad time. The Tempests... You know, with those upgrades we were talking about earlier, that plus two air weapons, just mm, tearing through these battle cruisers. That's what they're built to do. That bonus versus armored is massive for them. Uh, bonus versus cap ships, right? So that's great. Stalker count super high. Test a quadrant economy in the toilet, as evidenced by how mined out he is everywhere. Nowhere else to go. He's still sitting on 2,800 minerals. He probably could have kept this going a little bit. But really, his army mostly consists of Vikings at this stage, and the soccer count is just too high for that to make any sense. So, GG, well done, 
Mac Winston gets a win in a non-standard PVT, and that's what we like to see. So that is going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void and a Patreon cast. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. The path of ascension.